and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Uh, Opus with pedals. Pedal show, my name is Gabor. <laughs> nice. I've got nothing else. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out, see what this Opus does with a few pedals in front of it today. But please hit like and subscribe on the channel first up. Ding the bell, thumbs up, comments below, all that stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Thank so you very much. We just thought, let's use a couple of sort of more common flavors of pedals. So, garden variety. Garden variety. I've done, I've done a first impressions unboxing video, which you can watch up here, where I use a Tube Screamer style and a Marshall style. Uh, pedal. What I thought we use today is we'll use a, just a boost, which is this particular one, the uh, Razor Beak, and I'll link to all the pedals in the description below. Or let's say up here as well. This is the Razor Beak video we did, which is just a clean boost. Mm -hmm. Maybe it does a little bit of EQ flavoring as well, but mostly clean boost. And we can also anti boost it. Where yes. you go below gain, which we'll look at as well. Yeah, we'll look at a Rat Star pedal, and we look at a Big Muff Star pedal, just to get three different flavors I'm, i mean there's thousands of different flavors but that's just what we're going to look at today with each preamp good stuff so um what you're hearing is the opus just going straight into logic yeah into your earballs and we've made a preset which we saved on slot number 25 oh yeah um 25. because that's just the kind of guys we are called pedal video so I, I've, I've got the, the the screen here the computer here but i'll show a screenshot of it uh it's basically uh a, a 2x12 Pithorn cabinet. Yep. Uh, with, hang on, let me tell you about the Pithorn cabinet. Uh, with vi uh, vintage 30 speakers, f one of his Sir, Sir PT15 2x12 closed back cabinets. Uh, and we're using a condenser FET 47 and a dynamic 57 microphone, right? So we're going to use that same cabinet, same mic setup on all of it. We have the EQ and the enhancer switched off. We just have a little bit of reverb, which is some plate reverb. And you'll see it in that screenshot that was up before. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a clean sound on the, or relatively clean sound mm. on the Fender style, the Vox style, and the Marshall style, and the Nifty 50 as well. Uh, each of them with that razor beak, maybe gain it up a little bit as well, just to see what it sounds like with the boost slightly gained up. And then do the same thing with all the pedals. Sit back, enjoy. We'll probably play some different guitars at some point. Timestamps down the bottom as well. Sheraton. Oh, so this is the clean sounds. This is now, at the moment, we're using the Foundry. Mm. Uh, and this is the clean sound. So that's just cranking with the boost. Yep. So if you have the boost up a little bit, it just gets a bit louder and then it just gets a bit, bit of extra gain. Now it's the same thing. All I'm doing now is changing from Foundry to Foxy. So this is the Vox style sound. Uh, not touching anything on here. This is just exactly the same. This is just a amp sound now. <laughs> Thank you. 
that works quite well. That's cool. Again, not touching any settings. Let's go to Albion. So this is the Marshall style. <laughs> Let me have a go. Let me have a go. That sounds really good, actually. Um, this is a Fender Aerodyne Special Telecaster. You can watch a full video on it up here, which unrazor beaked, uh, just Albion Optus Albionized Optus. That's a phone company. Opus. Oh, what do you like? I know. Out of Opus. Uh, sounds like this. Definitely has a telly snap to it. It's cool. Because it's, it's a telly. Because it's a telly. Uh, so that's the Albion. Now, actually, we can do it on here too. May as well do it in here. Uh, let's find. We want preamp. And we don't want the Albion. No way, man. Oh, we don't want this. We want this one. We want the Nifty 50. So, same settings. These are the settings. You can see them here. Yep. Uh, nifty 50. Let's get Nifty with the 50. So, it's a uh, more gainy amp. So, there's a bit more gain. Actually sounds quite good low gain, I find, the Nifty 50. Razor beak me. It's like the Nifty 15. That's the Nifty 15, yes. Same sound with humbuckers? Sure. So it's all the same, everything's the same. All I've done is turn a gain up on a nifty 50. Let's see higher gain with boost. Anti-boost. Anti-boost. Now let's try the same thing again just quickly with a guitar in uh, C standard tuning. This is the this is Halberd. Part guitar. So this is just a this is just the opus. Now if we anti-boost me. I want 
I go to my clean tone, man? Chorus, boost me. Should we just very quickly? I know this is going to be a long video again, but I mean, that's what the people want, man. Is it? <laughs> Let's go to here. Well, actually, How do you know? Because I know. Let's go to the Albion. Now, this is the Marshall style. All gained up. Thump. Now let's get razor beaked with the Albion with more gain. Okay, so Alex, Six. round one. Does it take boosts? It boosts up good. Boosts up good. Sick. And we're back. And now we have the rad distortion. You can watch a full video on the rad distortion up here. Um, Aussie rat. Aussie rat. Bandicoot. What? Is it Bandicoot? Are they kind of rats? Uh, it tastes the same. Tastes the same. Well, there you go. Uh, so this is kind of his take on, on a rat. Uh, let's try it again. So should we try it? Let's, how about, how about I go first? Fine. Telly style. We're back at the pedal video preset. A very meh, beige, I called it. Beige. Going down. Now let's get, let's get ratty. Uh, should we try next instead of the foundry let's go to the foxy Sounds good to me. Fully sick, bro. Uh, what about the Albion? So this is the Marshall style. Me? Okay. Let's get rad. Ooh, that's a different sound, isn't it? See what that's, sounds... that's mad fuzz going on there. Humbuckers.
That was wild. Uh, sort of fuzzy with the Marshall thing. Let's try Nifty Fifty. Juggalug, juggalug. Really good, I think, with the Nifty Fifty. Works, yeah. Let's try it with the with the telly. It sounds. Mm. Let's quickly try that sound with the low tuned guitar. I guess so. Just to see what it sounds like, because I think it could be nice. Kinda like do the tube screamer kind of thing. Isn't that that's the Nuno thing, isn't it? He uses a rat. With his amps, and that to gives him that tightness. Uh, opus with r rat style. Mic drop. What do you think? I think it works good. Aussie it rat. Didn't work super well with the Albion, mm -hmm. but I mean, different amps react differently to different pedals too. Mm, got Don't, fuzzy. It, fuzz, yeah. yeah. But I think with, with the others, it sounded great. All right, uh, fuzz. Thanks. And we're back now with the final round of fun. We've got the trusty patches by Kaguya Effects. Yo. Uh, you can watch a full video on it up here. Now, that is uh, think op amp style, big muff, smashing pumpkins kind of thing. Muffy waffies. Muffy waffies. Yeah. Uh, it has a gate on it, and uh, you can also turn the um, tone on and off. We actually have it off. We're just going straight. Mm. Like. Op amp style, big muff style. Happy fellow on the front. That, that's, maybe that's Billy Colgan. Oh. Is he wrecking pumpkins? <laughs> he oh. smashes them smiling constantly. Po smiling politely. So we're back, we're back with our standard, uh, this is the Foundry, the Fender style pedal video preset. Yeah. Which sounds like this. without the tone stack. T 
takes it really well. Yeah, yeah. It's like super smooth and not biting the top end. Uh, all right, let's go preamp uh, from Foundry. Let's go to Foxy. In all honesty to me, that's the pedal platform, man. That takes pedals the best for me, the, vo the foxy, foxy, mm. voxy. Uh, now let's try that with the telly. Try something. Can I? Um, no. Oh, please. Uh, let's gain it up a little bit more. Not much more. It has a lot of girth now. It's not definition for uh, for a big. Man. probably turn some things down but that sounds really good um let's see. Actually, let's go back to just a preset right because what we've got to do now is we've got to go to the albion Notes. It works though. That's a Gain it up a little bit, the, the Marshall style. That 
That sounds good. Super thick. Let me try that same ga- the gained up thing with the. That sounds good. All right, lastly, that's the one we want to go to. And we want to go, oh, not that one, that one. Nifty 50. This is really slightly gained up. Try that with this. Staunch. Would you like me to twist the pedals? Is that what you're trying yes, to say? Yes, please. <laughs> It's too fat, you can't hear that it doesn't make you feel funny like a Big Muff Star Fuzz, does it take it well? Obviously, the more gain on the amp originally, the more blown out it's going to be, the yeah. more pff, all the yeah. sound thing. That's yeah. kind of obvious. So it does what you expect it to do in an amplifier, doesn't it? Should we just very quickly try this? This is unprepared, but should we just very quickly try... As opposed to... Uh, Peggy, the bass amp. What? Because a lot of, especially low-tuned people... Low tune people. L- low tune people. People that tune low. Use. You can't um, call them out anymore. Like, you know, a lot of old PV uh, bass amps and stuff like that Did because it? of the low tuning. So let's see what. Can we just quickly check what the trusty patcher sounds like with that? Let's very quickly, because I'm that kind of guy. Base cabinet. Stick a base cabinet on there. Yeah. What about a nine by ten? Nine by ten. Fridge nine. Yeah. What's a nine? What 
what's better than a 1x15? A 2x15. <laughs> That was just wasting the internet. That was yeah. unplanned and internet wasting, but unplanned, uncalled for. It works. So, just like with amps, different pedals will sound differently through different amps because if you plug this into a Marshall versus a Laney versus a Vox versus a Rev versus a PV Rage, P Chariotone versus the Red thing, PV Rage, PV Rage, they'll. It'll sound different, so it does the same here as well. But all up, I think it takes pedals well. Yep. Would Would you say it takes pedals well? I would say that. I would say it takes pedals well too. It does kind of react like an amplifier with pedals. Mm. Uh, if there's any specific combination you would like to see, I know there's a million pedals, and you, you know someone will go, oh, but man, I use a... I got nine metal zones. Oh, God. <laughs> but in series, not in parallel. Yeah. <laughs> not in parallel. Oh, parallel. <laughs> not in series. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah. Not in parallel. Is that what everyone does usually in oh, parallel? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, let, let us know if there's any. If we can, we might, we might do something like that. But um, pedals into Opus. Uh, final thoughts. Thanks for watching. Is that? <laughs> no, it's fun, very fun. Yeah. Uh, hope you watch the other videos. Subscribe to watch more content on the two note stuff. Also, links below to socials and a podcast. Please check me out if you've got a second. A big thank you to Two Notes for sending this out to us. Really appreciate it. It's been real. See you soon. Bye.